people we really want to recognize because it's 10 years and without their work 10 years ago or 15 years ago, none of this would have happened. And then I want to especially acknowledge the young at heart too, and they'll have enough performing room. And again, I want to apologize a little for the kind of squishiness, but there were so many people that wanted to celebrate this day with us, we could, I can't say no. And everybody who knows me knows I can't say no anyway, so, um, but I do want to apologize for that. Um, so, and then we'll have the entertainment, and hopefully that will be on time. So, because I know there's a few people that need to get on to another performance. Um, then we're going to have a little bit of trivia and drawings, and we've got some wonderful donations from very gener generous people out in the community. And then we'll have our closing remarks, and, and a big thank you for all, all the people. First, um, um, first I, I think that this, the beginning of this has to acknowledge two individuals that made this all happen. And one of them was Patty Shaughnessy. And um, I, she, unfortunately, she is not, well, fortunately for her, she's a new grandma, and she's with her new grandchild. Um, but she couldn't celebrate today with us. But we do want to recognize all she did to make the center work. And, you know, it, and I think some of the building committee might share that it wasn't all um, roses. <laughs> and there were always these little glitches along the way, and they worked through all the glitches. Um, secondly, Claire Higgins, um, who is working closely with, um, as the mayor, working closely to get the funding for her, um, along with the, the great fundraising that they did in the center to make this happen. Um, I also want to recognize the building committee at this time. There's a few members that are no longer with us, and um, I, I do want to recognize the, their commitments too. But the people that are here and ready to um, maybe even stand up to be acknowledged, because so much of this is them. Um, and that's Marilyn Richards. If I say your name, if you can stand up for just one second, I'd appreciate it. Marilyn Richards, Jerry Ann Butler. Tony Kishola, Michael Hearn, Dave Ringley is not here, but he's still with us, and David Stevens. I know we're running a little late, but does anybody have like one really cool story about how you know challenged we were um, at the beginning? Like they they brought the wrong carpeting, or, no, nobody, do you, anybody have that special? Ah, Jerry Ann, come up here, quick, and tell our story. I'm sorry. Just a little tidbit that um, any suggestions of where to locate this senior center, we chased them all down. So any place that maybe people out there had suggested, look, park, um, the building down by the recycling center, um, the school, Narnatuck school, all those things, we chased them all down to see if they fit, and we ended up here. This, this exact spot is where I played football. I want you to know that when I was in seventh grade. This was my hood. Okay. And now it still is. <laughs> Okay. Um, other people I wanted to acknowledge too is um, Cindy Langley, who was um, the first Council on Aging director that I know of. I don't know who was before you. So we just we just stand up and just. I think this was a dream of whether it was Irene Lanson or Cindy Langley or Patty to make to get something to recognize and to acknowledge the value of the older people in our community, and this is where it's at. Thank you so much, Cindy. Um, and then I want to acknowledge this person who has two hats today, um, David Stevens. Would you stand up, please, once again? Um, and he's the executive director of the Mass Council on Aging. So all the Council on Aging, where there are over 300 and 350 Council on Aging, um, they all look to him for guidance and advocacy, and he's a wonderful leader. Um, so, and then there's a few people that I, I want to acknowledge who are running for political offices. I just want you to show the faces. Nobody's going to say anything. And, um, um, 
I want to acknowledge two people that are running for city clerk, and they are our Bob Driscoll and Pam Pollard. So please stand up. No, we one table at a time. The last table first. And there is one person who is um, running competitively in, um, against our mayor, um, and his John Riley. Could you sign I'll go on okay. So if you could kind of, well, we're just going to keep going right now, but um, we are going to still have a few speeches. So if you could kind of keep it down, that would be nice. Thank you. Um, the other thing I want to especially thank the, the Elks today, um, none of this would have happened without their contribution. They, they gave us the money to make this happen. Um, I'm almost done with the thank yous. Um, Barb and John Kaczynski um, have been making all our... Um, all right. Another, another thank you is for John and Barbara, and they, uh, all of this is there, there, and with some incredible volunteers. And that's, that's a, we're getting close to the end. Um, real special acknowledgement for my fantastic staff. Um, Linda and Michael were just right with me. Michelle and Victoria and Heather are just outstanding too. Thank you. Uh, and we all know this. Everyone who comes to the Senior Center knows we have some of the most incredible volunteers in Massachusetts. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now it's time to hear some of our, um, our wonderful officials. We have been, I mean, you all know that I spent a lot of time away from Northampton. But I came back, and one of the reasons that I came back is because of some of the people around that front table. Um, they're just pretty extraordinary. Um, we have some of the best representations in the world. Thank you, Linda. Uh, thank you uh, to everyone for coming out today to this great cookout. Um, indoors, luckily, <laughs> Thank you to the building committee. I have the opportunity to sit with some of the building committee members. Thank you to the community for helping to fund this center. I also want to point out that this center uh, was funded with federal funds as well, CDBG monies, um, community development block grants paid for a significant portion of this building. So when you hear some of the debate happening in Washington, about the importance of community development block grant funds. I hope you'll think about this center uh, because this center was funded significantly by that fund. Um, obviously, want to thank Linda and her staff. Uh, major shout out to I want to also thank, obviously, the Elks Lodge 997 and Exalted Ruler Michael Bardsley for their generous contribution to today's event. Our, our next um, uh, uh, next person that I would like to recognize now is um, Congressman, our United States Congressman, um, Jim McGovern. Yeah! Well, I want to thank Linda, and I want to thank all the team at the Senior Center. I represent 63 cities and towns, and this by far is the most beautiful Senior Center in all my entire district. And I just also want to, I have to, I have to say this, you know, I'm here to congratulate you on 10 years, uh, but I've only represented you for four years, so honestly, I had nothing to do with this. Um, other than the fact I do support CDGB money and support investments in our communities at the federal level. And the final thing I'm going to say is, look, Washington is a crazy place, yeah. but please know I have your back. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. Um, can I have um, Senator Stan Rosenberg come up and say a few words, guy to the boring guy, the most boring guy in the room, who follows the most exciting guy in the room. Welcome, Congressman. Thank you for being with us. Give him another round of applause. He not only has our back, 
but he's fighting to make sure that we end hunger in America. That is a great passion, and we thank you for doing that. So, uh, again, uh, as we move down this list, we're all saying the same thing. Congratulations, and thank you to everyone who had a hand in bringing this facility to this community so that the seniors in this community have a place to gather, to socialize, to break bread, to be with one another, and to stay engaged in the community. And all of us uh, who are taking this microphone are going to be very, very brief because no political speech can possibly compete with food. And so therefore, thank you for inviting us today. Congratulations. And I am not running for office this year. I'm running next year. Okay. I'm the biggest and I'm going to be the quickest. Um, a couple of things. First of all, let's give Linda a big hand for her. So this is the finale, all right? Um, and we're all so looking forward to this. Um, I have to tell you that how many years ago, Bob? How many? 35. Which, Who did you ask me? Not how old you are. How, <laughs> when did you guys start winning? 1982. Okay, 1982. Um, I first met Bob Silman. And, um, and I have to tell the story. Um, and he was applying for a job at the Walter Selva House right there. And right, and all these times as a nutrition site director, and um, all of these. In the usual person we hired were, was a nice lady, truly, and with pearls on, you know, times are changing, you know, and it started in 1982, because um, I talked to my boss and I said, you know what, we need a new, different vitality at the nutrition site, and um, Bob's, Bob had a great ponytail, but we were all hippies then, and um, anyway, he was hired um, at, at, our, at the nutrition site, and that's when this all happened, um, because all of the needs of the older people that he was working with reached his heart, and he has been a phenomenal leader, and I've had the, the pleasure of seeing them in Brussels and Ghent and in Dublin, um, and it's just, I am so proud of this group and of Bob Silman. Um, anyway, I just want to recognize the young at heart. Please put your hands together for a big applause. Thank you very much. I had a really beautiful long speech to give you, but we're running short, so you're just going to have to hear them sing. Oh, I'll, cut it out. I'll do that. Um, we're uh, we're just going to warm up for one second because it's very scary to sing right after you eat. So. <laughs> If you want to get up and dance on this, it's a really good number from a group called Taste of Honey. It's called Boogie Boogie Boogie. And here is Blue Singer.
Surely. Surely. Surely.